Many animals have quite elaborate courtship rituals. We'll try to understand this, at least in part, by considering an alternative where animals rely entirely on chance for mating and reproduction to occur. What I mean by this is that we'll treat a male and a female animal meeting and producing offspring as a completely random event. And we'll ask ourselves over a small time interval H. How many new animals will be born? And our goal here is to find the birth rate beta. For simplicity, we'll ignore gestation. We'll think of birth as an instantaneous process. Also, for simplicity, let's assume that the population is split half in half into male and female animals. So to calculate Activate the number of new animals born over some time period H. There are P divided by two males, and there are P divided by two females. So P divided by two times P divided by two is the total number of ways a male and a female could interact. I mean, for example, if we had a little population of six, three males and three females. There are these nine possible interactions. And over here, we'll put some probabilities. Let P sub one be the probability that an interaction occurs. And P sub two can be the probability that if an interaction occurs, it results in a birth and not a probability here, but a number n can be the average 
number of new animals that a birth event will produce. So over a small time interval H, we should see this many or approximately this many new animals born. And now we are going to collapse all of these constants. We don't really care about this two or this two or this P sub one or this P sub two or this N. Let's multiply all the constants together and call that product K. And we find that for some constant K, there should be about K times P squared new births over this small time interval. Well, in terms of the birth rate over a small time interval, there should be the length of the time interval times the birth rate times p new births. So since these give us two different ways of counting the number of new animals, they must be equal. And we'll divide both sides of this equality by P. We'll divide both sides of this equality by eight and a constant divided by a constant is still a constant. We'll just absorb this H into this K. And we find that if we view births as a totally random event, the birth rate should be about KP. P, remember, is a function of time. So when we introduced birth, and we've seen this before with the logistic model, when we introduced birth rate, it was a, as a function of time. If the birth rate is a function of population and population is a function of time, then the birth rate is a function of time by composition. And we'll assume that the death rate is constant. Call it delta and the general population model with these assumptions becomes dp dt equals the birth rate minus the death rate times the current population by tradition, we'll, even though it doesn't change the equation, we'll pull a K out. 
and also write this P up front. And I know I said something about analyzing the behavior of this differential equation. I think I'll let that be its own video just to keep down the time lengths of each individual video. So we'll see that shortly.